Hey everyone, I'd like to share with you my new cover. It is The Hanging Tree from The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games is such a good story. If you've never seen it or read the books, you've got to. It's so good. It is my second favorite. Lord of the Rings is the top. Can't beat that. <laughs> but Hunger Games is second. Um, and The Hunger Games books are my absolute favorite book series so far. This song is really good, but it does, it helps to have a little bit of a background to kind of understand it and appreciate it. So I'm going to give you a little rundown of what The Hunger Games is if you've never read the books or watched the movies. So basically, The Hunger Games, it's a dystopian story. Um, so the capital is in charge of everything. It's the government, basically. And the capital, capital, dictate what everybody has to do they have like the people have hardly any freedom and each year the capital has like an annual hunger games which is where they have two people from each district two children a boy and a girl from each district and they have to fight in this arena fight till the death um so there'll only be one winner so all these children have to die because the capital says that they have to and basically the reason for doing that is to show that the capital is in charge it's to remind people that they are totally in charge but as you can guess not everybody likes the capital most people don't actually so there's an uprising and Katniss Everdeen is the main character she um she wants to overthrow the capital. She fights in the Hunger Games because her sister was chosen, but she ended up um, volunteering in her place. And she, you know, she wins Hunger Games. She tries to overthrow the capital. Everybody hates the capital. Everybody wants them gone. Anyways, it's amazing. It's so good. You gotta watch it. But anyway, so I just want to, um, that's like a little background. And then I also want to give like a little background of the, uh, the song, The Hanging Tree. If you, if you don't know the background, you might kind of be like, what is this even about? But when you know the background, your eyes are just enlightened and you're like, whoa, that's a good song. So I'm going to read just a little snippet of the book. It's not very long. Don't worry. I'm not going to keep you forever. Um, all right. So this is Katniss Everdeen talking. And um, this is a song that her father and she would, would sing when they were, when she was a child. All right. So this is what she says. Uh, at the beginning, it sounds like a guy is trying to get his girlfriend to secretly meet up with him at midnight. But it's an odd place for a tryst, a hanging tree, where a man was hung for murder. The murderer's lover must have had something to do with the killing. Or maybe they were just going to punish her anyway because his corpse called out for her to flee. That's weird, obviously, the talking corpse bit. But it's not until the third verse that the hanging tree begins to get unnerving. You realize the singer of the song is the dead murderer. He's still in the hanging tree. And even though he told his lover to flee, he keeps asking if she's coming to meet him. The phrase where I told you to run so we'd both be free, is the most troubling, because at first you think he's talking about when he told her to free, presumably to safety, but then you wonder if he meant for her to run to him, to death. In the final stanza, it's clear that that's what he's waiting for, his lover with her rope necklace hanging dead next to him in the tree. I used to think the murderer was the creepiest guy imaginable, but now... With a couple of trips to the Hunger Games under my belt, I decide not to judge him without knowing more details. Maybe his lover was already sentenced to death, and he was trying to make it easier. To let her know he'd be waiting, or maybe he thought the place he was leaving her was really worse than death. So basically, the guy who's singing it, he just wants his lover to be with him in death because... Being in that world is worse. It's awful. So, anyways, I think it's super cool having that background makes you appreciate the song more. So, anyways, I hope you enjoy my version. And also, I just want to say a big shout out to um, 
my family. I had my my uh, dad, my sister, my mom, and my husband all seeing a little mini chorus in the background of the song. So I just want to say thanks to them, and they were amazing. So hope you enjoy it. Are you, are you coming to the tree? Well, they strung up a man, they say who murdered three Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be If we met at midnight in the hanging tree Are you, are you coming to the tree Where dead men called out for his love to flee Strange things did happen here, no stranger would it be If we met at midnight in the hanging tree Are you, are you coming to the tree Where I told you to run so we'd both be free Strange things have happened here, no stranger would it be Strange things did happen here, no strange. 